Welcome to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. Just kidding. If you haven't checked out his channel, that's Crazy Russian Hacker. He's got some great stuff. Go check him out. He's got some pretty good science experiments on there. And uh, I am not a scientist, but when I was uh, doing my video about the uh, solo stove, I kind of noticed that the uh, fuel was burning yellow, and I always thought that alcohol should burn blue. Um, so it got me thinking to how different types of fuel um, would compare. So I got a few different kinds. I've got uh, straight isopropyl alcohol, 99%, uh, methyl hydrate, and this is gas line antifreeze. And a lot of people I know like to use heat, H-E-E-T. Uh, which is a gas line antifreeze, but I don't have that available in my area. I checked everywhere and it's just, it's, it's not here. So um, anyways, I got premium gas line antifreeze and hopefully it's something similar. And I'd wanted to test it out. So my idea is I've had some water sitting here overnight. So it's going to be at room temperature. And I'm going to do the experiment in here so that it's somewhat controlled. And I'm just going to test and see how long each one takes to boil water. So let me get it set up and get to it. Okay, guys. So here's how the test is going to work. So this is the water I've had sitting out here since last night to keep it at room temperature. Um, so I'm going to take, this is a half ounce bottle. So I'm going to take a half ounce of each of these at a time, fill this up, fill up the stove. I've got the stove inside here. Now this is the same kit I used uh, in, the, um, in the outdoor video last week where I touched the stove. But I found the way I used it that the stove was a little bit too low so that the flame was hardly touching the bottom. So I've, I've kind of just made a few adjustments here and I think it's going to work fine. I'm going to use this kettle and we are going to boil about uh, half, no sorry, one full cup of water which I'll measure with this. I'm going to take some uh, notes, I'm going to time it, I've got my phone ready and um, then at the end we're going to kind of measure, I'm going to get a scale out, I'm going to measure before and after and see how much fuel we have left roughly. So nothing totally scientific but it's going to give us a good idea of which fuel is better. So we have exactly eight ounces of water in here. I'm going to put it in the kettle. I'm guessing this should give us a pretty fast boil. Okay, and in here I have half an ounce of fuel. Um, actually, the first fuel is indeed the gas line antifreeze. So this is the stuff I used when originally testing the stove. And I thought it burned a bit on the yellow side, and I said, you know, that's interesting. So that's what kind of got me thinking about this test here. So let's weigh it. So the whole thing is exactly three ounces. Okay, so it's lit. Start my stopwatch and set it on. So I can see a little bit better now that it's indoors. And it is actually blue and it just, it starts blue but it ends yellow. So I don't know, we're gonna see how, uh, how it works out. Okay, and we have a rolling boil at 319. So we're gonna let that cool down and we'll weigh it up. Okay, so now we're on the methyl hydrate side of things. I've got my water set up here. Again, one cup. That aside for now. So 
so I've taken the time to carefully fill that up to the top. Okay. Measure this. Three ounce. Oh, two point nine ounces. Between two point nine and three, yeah, it's three now. Two point nine. Two point nine. So we'll say two point nine ounces is the weight. Okay, so I'll pop this in here. Get my phone ready. Start it. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so this one's still sputtering a little bit. So far, it seems to be a little bit more blue, but still some yellow in it. It seems to me that the uh, the flame for the uh, gas line antifreeze is a little bit more intense. Let's see if I can take a... Look at that rolling boil at 322. <laughs> Just a couple seconds short of the other one. Interesting. Let that cool down and we'll take a wait. <clears throat> okay guys, up on deck is the 99% isopropyl alcohol. So I've measured it out again. Three ounces again. already start the clock and away you go so I'm move this so you can okay so it's still priming Still see a lot of yellow in there, but we'll see after it primes. This one's about 3.30 already. Give it another minute or so and see where it gets at. But... I don't believe it. we're at a rolling boil 316. Okay guys, the results are in. Um, so it seems that all three of the fuels, I use the exact same amount. I'm not really surprised by that, I just wanted to measure. So what I did was I actually weighed um, before and after, and then I'm just looking at the difference in weight, and it seems that all three of them use the exact same amount. So I started with three ounces and ended up uh, with 2.7 ounces for both the um, gas line antifreeze and the alcohol. 
for some reason the methyl hydrate weighed in at 2.9 ounces and maybe I dropped something or a little tiny bit by accident but then it came in at 2.6 ounces so still the difference is actually the same so I see no difference there they seem to all be right around the same efficiency um, and as far as times go it seems that the um, winner is the alcohol 99 percent alcohol and that one took about three minutes and 16 seconds to uh, to uh, boil the water but the next two were just really right behind there's hardly any difference at all actually so the next one will be the gas line antifreeze and that one took uh, three minutes and 19 seconds so just a couple seconds longer and believe it or not another three seconds later was a methyl hydrate it came in at three minutes 22 seconds so all of these I think work pretty darn well uh, I think they're pretty similar um, where things do change are the costs and it's basically the opposite of the boil times so this is by far the most expensive now this is going to vary by the area that you're in I couldn't get 99% alcohol here but I could order it online so I did order it um, but of course that did probably cost me a little more so this came in at about 53 cents per ounce and the premium antifreeze came in at about 33.9 cents per ounce and the methyl hydrate, or methyl alcohol I guess as it's known, came in at 13.9 cents per ounce. So that's in my area. You may find it differently in yours. And also I noticed that they sell this, um, you can get this at the paint department in most stores, but they sell some like a big five gallon uh, drum. So if you're going to use a lot of it, you could probably save a lot of money by doing that and get that cost even further down. So all in all, I think they're, they're all good fuels. This is a winner in my book because the price is so much lower and you're going to wait another three or four seconds to boil water. Uh, not a big deal. I mean, I don't know if, if uh, you know, you're in that much of a hurry that, uh, you know, five or six seconds is going to make a difference. So the cost is, you know, a third of the other ones. So, and even less. So uh, at least around here, that's going to be probably what I'll go with. So again, this is not... Uh, a truly scientific experiment it's just something I wanted to do something I thought was uh, was interesting and good to know uh, at least for myself and I hope that you found some value in it as well so if you like what we did here please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, you know do subscribe because we have videos coming out every week thanks for watching